Every expert once started with the basics and mastering abacus is no different. In this video, I'll walk you through the four levels of our abacus masterclass from building strong foundations to mastering intermediate simulations, exploring advanced applications, and finally stepping into automation and research. It's not just a course, it's a journey. One that takes you from curiosity to capability, from user to specialist. If you're interested in this video, let's sit back and relax as we get started. So in this Abacus Masterclass, what I'd like to do with this video is to explore all the topics that I intend to make videos about even in the course of this masterclass. And I have divided it into four different levels with the level one being really building the foundations for you to sort of understand what is required even in this topic for anyone who is new to Abacus. That's really the level that you're going to be focusing on. And then for those of you that have been using Abacus and really want a little bit of more specialized in their thinking, then the next level, which I call the intermediate level, will be the level that is for you. And then we'll move on to the advanced topics or advanced level advanced applications we'll begin to look at more intricate things to help you sort of build your understanding around what is required and then finally we look at automation so this is where you have topics like scripting live topics like you know um, batch processing of files you know all these kind of interesting things so and then even at that very advanced level i'll be also making some videos drawn directly from my research and just before we go into that, I just want to give a little bit of background as to myself. So I'm a university professor, an associate professor within a university in the UK. And I've been making videos on this channel for, for quite a while now. And you know, I've got a lot of feedback from people of how they like my contents on this channel, particularly the fact that they like the way I try to talk about the theory and as well as demonstrating what we're doing here in Abacus. And that's the structure and the strategy I want to use even in this Abacus Masterclass by sort of on unpacking the theory of what we're trying to do and then are demonstrating Abacus class 2 to sort of illustrate what is going on here and that's what we're going to be doing with this video also I've published a book which is called the finite element applications it's done quite well you know with about 73,000 downloads of that book and a lot of people have been using it it's been around in many universities in the world and many libraries and people really really like that book and that book is really addressing the finite element approach that I'm use I'm using in this in this video so the unique selling point I believe that you will get from these videos that I'm making is understanding the underpinning theory behind most of what we're doing in Abacus. So I just don't want it to be a video about procedural things of how you work in Abacus, but actually understanding the theory because those are really essential for you to become the best sort of you know, scientist, engineer, or who, whichever sector that you're operating and where you need Abacus to help you. So I wanted to say that right at the outset to say that I've got a little bit of credibility in this field and I've done a few things in my career. And I feel like uh, uh, you know that has put me in a position where I could actually make this sort of masterclass videos just to sort of help my audience understand what they need having said all that i do want to say that if you have you know, ideas or topics or things you think i should be including in this masterclass that i've not included i do want to hear from you so please use the comment section join my cm video insider group where which is a news a, a group that i send weekly newsletters and share your ideas for me all that link will be in the description section of this video so please do that and let's get into the video so the first level which i call the foundation level of the abacus masterclass will contain things first like introduction to finite element modeling and software tools i've already recorded this video so it's already existing in the channel and it speaks about the principles of fem and also um, the software tools available the next video would be an introduction to the abacus software itself and how you can access it before because before we go into actually getting the software it makes sense to get hold of the software then we get started with the abacus ca environment which is the environment that most of you are used to or when you load up abacus the first thing that hits you so i want to describe the interface and sort of the 
workflow that you have to work through when working with that. And then we'll now get into how do you actually create a virtual domain that you want to model because the first step in creating final element solution is creating the virtual domain. In this case, I'm going to talk about parts and sketches within Abacus um, and think about how to create 2D models and 3D models, the very basic principles and strategies you can use to do that. And then one of the vital tools in in foundational tools is the partition interface because sometimes you need to cut up the model to aid meshing. So I'll be speaking also a video on the partition interface. And then we'll begin to talk about the next principle of the final element solution, which is the material definition. So I'm going to do an early level, you know, a baseline level of doing this, which is sort of elastic behavior, plastic behavior, maybe a little insight into user-defined material, but nothing too special. Just to get you started with beginning to do your simulation and creating material models for most, you know, early foundation users of Habakkuk's to know what they are doing. And then we'll introduce the sections and section assignments, how you begin to link the materials, the parts you created, and that's where the section assignment comes in. So, and the reusability of parts for doing different things in the model. So that's the idea of sections. And then meshing is another module, another print pillar of the FEM. So we'll talk about that. So at, at the moment, we've got the virtual domain pillar, the material pillar, and then the meshing in Abacus module or pillar. And these are the names that I sort of used within my, my book of how I address the different elements of Abacus. So we'll look at element times, we we'll look at best practices for meshing. And then the next thing that is unique to Abacus is the concept of uh, as assembly. And also while we do that, because we are building multiple parts, we also want to use constraints modules. So I'll be introducing something around constraints. And then the last, the th next module, which is a fourth principle of the final element solution is the boundary condition module. Every solution must have some sort of boundary implemented for you to get a convergence. And so I'll be speaking about the Abacus speak of loops and boundary conditions, distinguishing them, picking up different types of boundary conditions you can use, and how Abacus interprets the idea of a load and a boundary condition. And then we begin to actually do a numerical analysis, which is the static assessment. So because it's a foundational work, we're going to do just a simple static analysis. We're not going to look at implicit, explicit solutions yet. So setting up a static stress analysis in Abacus, where we begin to then begin to set up the model to run. So that's the next thing we'll do. And then the sort of result we generate from our simulation will be written to a file, and that is called the output database file. So I'll be helping you understand what is the output database file how to visualize the results you get and what it's made up in that level. And then we'll now look at post-processing. So post-processing speaks about how to interpret the result that you get. So what does the Abacus interface, the viewer module, look like and how can you use that to come up with good results and interpret your result, the contour plot. So the whole gamut of post-processing, including stresses, strains, and displacement, We'll be dealing with that as part of this foundation module and then as we come to the end of this level one you know module or level one foundation module uh, master class I, I will finish up with some common beginner mistakes in abacus and how to fix them you know there are things that people make a lot of mistakes so we'll just have a video where we'll pick some of these things of course they are exhaustive but we'll just pick a few of them talk about them to sort of wrap up the discussion about the foundation module and what i'm promising you with the foundation module is that by the time you complete that you, you would come be up to speed with the basics of Abacus and what it tells and to set up very simplistic models and run them and sort of have an understanding of what is really going on within Abacus. If you really love this sort of content and want to join me in this journey of making this Abacus Masterclass, please do subscribe to the channel. So when this sort of contents are made or when these videos become available, you'll be one of the people that I'll be seeing for the very first time. I really am counting on this audience, you know, to sort of help me they give me feedback on, on these videos so I continue to improve on them, you know, to make it more suitable for, for this audience. So please do subscribe to this channel and I'll be more than pleased to do that. And also just before I leave this, I also want to remind you that I've got a newsletter, a group, a unique group um, linked to this channel, which is called the CM Videos Insider Group. These are, you know, special people who want to hear a bit more, get more in, in depth in interaction with me on this channel so please if you want to be interested in receiving these weekly newsletters also getting some of the perks that's associated with me being 
you know, the leader of this channel, please do connect using the CM video inside that link, which is also in the description section of this video. And let's go back into the video. So the second level, the intermediate level here is where you're talking about things like solid and shell element simulations, beginning to get a little bit deeper, bending analysis. You know, now you're beginning to look at multiple stress states, you know, shear force and bending moment analysis. I'll begin to introduce another pillar in the final element solution, which is contacts. And there are different ways contacts are defined in Abaku. So things like the tie, the surface to surface or friction, ways to describe contacts. So we'll be showing that for you. Um, bolt modeling and pretensioning. So a lot of structures we build have got bolts. Abaku says a unique way of dealing with bolts, you know, whether you explicitly define it or use some features within the solution to recreate the bolts. And so that's what we're going. And then the idea of pretensioning to help our solution. So we'll look into that. And then submodeling. Sometimes you don't want to model the full thing. You want to build submodels. However, you need to link the local analysis to a global analysis. So the whole concept of submodeling will form part of the topic on the intermediate module. And then we begin to introduce, remember in the level one, we looked at only simple elastic plastic behavior. Now we're going deeper into plasticity and hardening models. There's a lot of interesting non-linear based material models that is available in Abacus. I will be introducing you to all that for with some simple examples to show how that. Again, to give you insight of what these models mean and how you can use them. And then there's a feature within nonlinear material modeling or nonlinear analysis in Abacus called the geometric nonlinearity for short NLGM. So I want to make a video where I talk about what it is and why and when you should use it and how it can help your solution. Then buckling analysis is a model analysis, a quick frequency based analysis is very common, especially when you're looking at big structures or vibration assessments. So there are features in Abacus, the hygiene values and the RIX methods will also be introduced in this intermediate module. And then we'll get to our first dynamic analysis, especially for modal assessment and frequency responses using, um, again, within Abacus. And then we'll be also do something around heat transfer in Abacus. What's the basis? Just build a simple heat transfer model, couple thermal and stress analysis, expansion problems. So where you are not only looking at stress analysis, but also temperature build up within the model. So we'll be coupling all that. And then we'll look at damage and failure criteria. So beginning to because damage is handled differently within final element modeling within Abacus. So we we'll want to look at some of the existing damage models and build some simple understanding just to help you within this intermediate module. Then after that, we'll now get to the third module, which are what I call the advanced applications. And the topic I want to be covering in the advanced applications is how to generate stress and strain plots from simulations. I feel like at this stage for people that are trying to couple stress and strain plot, they would have created the basics of and the basis and the intermediate model. So we'll look at that. And again, I have videos on the channel that I've already addressed that, but I will be also doing some set of videos looking at stress and strain plots from simulations. Mesh density and adaptive meshing. I'm considering that a little bit of an advanced topic. Um, so this is where you are looking at the quality of your mesh and the impact it has on your solution, which is a study that you need to do all the time if you're interested in creating optimal solutions. Then composite modeling in Abacus, looking at things like the layup and the ply properties. So we'll be looking at all that. And then cohesive zone modeling um, for delamination and adhesives. So this is a topic that is you know, frequently requested on the channel. I consider it an advanced application topic. I will be making video on that, a video of videos on that. Then impact analysis, um, especially a drop test of your plates. We're looking at that. Crack propagation. So again, our first foray into XFEM with an abacus. So I'll be demonstrating again all the principles of how that work. And look at how you can stabilize contact-based problems, convergence, troubleshooting within your solution. Again, just building skill sets at this advanced level of understanding. Stop help you get the best simulation result you want to create. And then we'll look at design of heat sinks and electromagnetic cooling strategies. Um, this is again an application of the heat transfer principles within FEM. So how do you create heat sinks? So I'll be showing this. Again, for those that are probably interested in this, this is an application based work in that. And then I want to show more extensively conduction, convection, and radiation analysis. What is the differences? How do you represent this? How do you actually create this within a numerical solution within Abacus? I'll be doing that. And then we'll look at explicit dynamics, which is again another simulation strategy within Abacus. And we want to see how 
crashworthiness and impact assessment can be used as vehicles to to do some kind of explicit dynamic simulations. And then viscoelasticity and creep membrane for time-dependent materials, again, another feature that is common within FEA. So we want to show how chronic series would work, how you can create a creep, how to set up a creep analysis model, what does that actually mean, all that interesting behavior. And remember, in all this, I would be talking first about the theory before demonstrating what's going on in Abacus. I really want you to understand the meaning of the principle of the parameters in Abacus when it comes to their use in the models I was talking about. And then one of the areas of my specialization is in micromechanics assessment of composite materials. So I want to show you some of the basic principles of micromechanics modeling in, in Abacus and so using composite materials. So that's another thing. And then we'll begin to look at things I talk quite a lot in this model, which I consider again advanced, which is periodic boundary conditions, how to set them up, how you implement them, how you use external tools to assess them. So that forms our level three advanced application which you can see is quite advanced and really quite challenging. You will probably have a lot of videos in this topic, but this is sort of the, sc the scope that I want to explore in this masterclass. And then we'll end up with the final, which is a level four. Those, this is really automating what you do. So this is the kind of things that people do constantly in later years in their PhD and even in their academic career, working with Abacus. So what are some of the things? So the first one is user defined material models. What is it? So this is really an introduction to it. I've got a chapter about this, a section about this in my, in my book. So what is it and how do, does a user defined material model look like? I wouldn't be able to, in one or two videos, extensively teach you what to do in this regard. So I'll talk about the Python scripting interface, how you create your first script, and then how to automate model creation in Abacus in you know using Python script, but how you do batch running where you've got multiple jobs, you know, parametric studies. This is all about you know automation, extracting results from Abacus using, for example, stress and stress displacement. Uh, Monte Carlo simulations in Abacus, which is again important. How do you incorporate variability in your stu studies? Linking Abacus with MATLAB or Python, you know, in FEM code. So this is again a video that I've made in the channel, but I'll be revisiting this. Topology optimization. How do you vary your virtual domain in order to assess the impact of changing geometry topology on results? And Finally, I want to finish up with a bit of my own research. So I've done some research on state modeling in Abacus. I will be again showing you an introduction to this. Lattice composite modeling, something again I speak a lot in this channel. I'll be speaking about that. Porous material modeling, an introduction of what to do. Unidirectional composite modeling, things that I've gained in my research. And then microelectronic devices modeling, again, things I talk about in my research. So I'm finishing up the masterclass by focusing on some of what I actually do for my research and exp exp expanding that for the user to sort of benefit from the insight I've gained over the years working in this field. And that's what we are going to do in this video. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. So when contents like this are made, you'll be the first to see it. Thank you and bye-bye.